Why did I choose to work in housing? Well, like many leaders of my generation in housing, it wasn't where I started. My first career after university was in retail management and I loved it. I liked working in shops, working with customers, staff. It was fun, it was fast paced. But after a few years, what didn't work for me was that there was no sense of purpose. Why was I doing this? And in the end, there was a bit of a clash with my social values and I actually ended up getting sacked. But that's a story for another day. However, around the same time, in my late 20s, I'd started getting interested in housing because I was an elected councillor and I was volunteering at the Citizens Advice Bureau. And that brought me into contact with lots of people who, unlike me, couldn't take for granted having a warm, safe, secure home. And that really made me realise just how crucial that is to enabling anyone to achieve whatever it is that they want to from their lives. So I then made the move into housing, got a job as a housing officer and never looked back. And what's really different about working in housing is that everyone you come into contact with has that same sense of a shared purpose. They absolutely know why they do what it is that they do. But then over and above that, in sheer career terms, for me, housing isn't just a single profession. It's a whole family of professions. And if you choose the right organisation, you can get the opportunity to develop your career across a whole range of activities. So I've worked in housing management, in development, in care and support. I've done governance. I've done recruitment and training, all sorts of things. And, and that depth and richness of the career opportunities, I think, makes it something that allied with that clear sense of social purpose means I'd recommend it to anyone as a first career choice. All the best.